Yo, Sonny! What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Quick video. If you have an air compressor, all right, and you did what I did a couple months back, it was in the it was in the trailer. I reached for the hose, try to pull it instead of getting in there. I was lazy. I pulled by the hose, and it snapped off the uh, coupler. All right, this is a dual coupler holder, and you can see I broke one. Had a bad day. Broke one on this side, broke another. Inside is the threaded piece. Um, inside is the threaded piece. It's still stuck in there. So this is a quick video on how to remove it and go get yourself the parts over at the depot for about four bucks a piece. What you're going to do is you're going to go run over to the depot and you're going to get one of these guys. It's a Husky quarter inch universal male coupler. All right, you got to get two of them because again, I need one here and one on this side. And if you don't have it, get yourself one of these here. It's the uh, pipe nipple extractor set. And what I did was I got myself a quarter inch bit on my drill. I had to use the bigger of the two because one of them slides in, but this one kind of grabs into place. And what you're going to do is you're going to put it in the drill, obviously. And I'm going to put it into this unit. I'm going to hold tight on one side with the other, and then the drill on the other, and I'm going to put it in reverse. It did grind a little bit of the metal up, but it does grab it and take it out. So let me show you how it's done. All right, so you're going to grab your drill. You're going to put the bit inside here. You're going to hold it on one side. You're going to grip it, and you're going to push into it while you're reversing this guy, and it'll grab eventually at it, it grinds a little bit, but it'll grab it and it'll back it right out and go easy Okay, that's what you want to get out this little piece here Okay You can see You can see how it grabs onto that little end And we'll take this off and we'll proceed with this one here You can see how it's grinding the metal, but it's getting itself into there. Once I get inside, then I'm going to go slow in reverse and try to grab it. Okay, once you use the drill to get yourself wedged in, sometimes the drill's not strong enough. You gotta grab yourself some adjustable, right? And you wanna come back, you wanna grab onto it, you wanna go nice and easy, hold on to the unit, try to break it for it to move. There you go. It's coming out. Go easy though. That first one came out a lot easier with the drill. This one was in there. So you want to back this out. Let me see if I can get this close so you can actually see it coming out. I'll try to turn it sideways so you can see it. This one was a pain in the ass. And you're going to just back it out. Look how much that thing went in there. That's like the shower uh, stalls. If you have a broken pipe in the wall, that little piece is inside your pipe. That's the, your, the, the object is to bang your extractor in enough to grab onto it and then you back it out. You're going to clean all these off. I'm going to clean them off and then we're just going to put these back in. We're going to screw them back in place, just like this, make it nice and tight, all right? Simple as that. Okay, you get the picture, right? A lot of people, they throw the compressors out because they think there's no threads that the part's broke, it's not worth fixing, but there are threads in it. All right, and that's how you change the uh, couplers. What you want to do, obviously, when you're finished, 
looks nice. I want to plug it in and you want to test it for leaks. Turn it on. I brought it up to 25 pounds. Obviously no air is coming out. If you have a little bit of air coming out over here, you want to just tighten it up just a little bit more. All right, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks again, and uh, what do we got to do now? Yo, Sonny, where are you, kid? You behind the rigid? Yes, yeah, Sonny.